What's up dolls? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, my bed is just covered in shopping bags. I was overdue for a mall shopping trip for some time now, so I decided to just cave in and spend a little bit of my coin. So I'm just gonna dive right in because I have a feeling that this video is going to be a little bit long. So make sure you guys grab yourselves a snack and let me know in the comments below what you guys are snacking on today. So let's get started with the only online order here from Discovery Clothing. So the first thing that I picked up was this cute little faux fur crossbody bag. It has a super long strap on it and it's in this nice cream color it's the perfect size for like a night out and it definitely adds a little bit of luxe to your outfit and you could easily kind of bump up the level of like a casual outfit to something a little bit more fancy and dressy with this so it's a very shallow pocket really you can fit just your essentials and this bag was only $12.99 so you can't really beat that price the next accessory that I picked up from Discovery Clothing is this cap. You guys might have seen me wear it in a vlog of mine. I love little caps like this. I believe it was the Kardashians or maybe like Kylie Jenner or something that I saw with something very similar to this. It had like a little pom-pom on the top. People kept petting my head when I had this on, but honestly, it is so freaking cute. The next thing I got, which I'm loving this for layers for fall time, this I got in a size large. And it's this cute utility jacket. It has little patches on the front. And the best part is, you guys, this was $19.99. You can't beat it. And it's a nice lightweight material. And I love wearing this color, like army green. It's such a nice neutral because you can honestly wear it with so many different things. And you guys know I have a color palette and I don't buy anything outside of my color palette. This is the next thing that I also ordered. And it's this cute little tunic. It has the high neckline, which I love. It's a little bit sheer, but it's very flowy and effortless. This was only $12.99. Again, I'm loving their prices. Up my alley for sure. And this I got in a size large. The final thing that I ordered from Discovery Clothing is this pair of leggings. These are only $14.99 just for reference. These have really cute zipper details in the front. And then it just goes down into like a motorcycle vibe over the knee and then it goes into a straight leg fit like a legging would. So I'll go ahead and leave the links to all of the items that I purchased from Discovery Clothing in the description box below to make it easy for you guys. So I'm going to move on to Sephora because I ran to Sephora to make an exchange for my foundation. I went and bought this in the wrong formula, which is why I had to go and get it in the oil-free version. You guys know me. I've been rocking with the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation for years now. I love it. My favorite formula, the oil-free version, and I'm in the color Bamboo Beige right now because <laughs> I don't really get sun. And I just love everything from the packaging to the consistency. I do have like combination skin, so I get pretty oily throughout the day in my T-zone, especially around my nose. So the moisturizing version of this just didn't look right on me. So I definitely recommend this for combination skin. And my favorite things from Sephora, which I just couldn't resist, although a lot of them were sold out, so it made it easy for me to pick these two products, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks and then their lip glosses. I love their lip glosses. That's what I'm wearing right now. This is in the color Kristen. I had to wear it for the video and I know someone's going to comment below, what's on your lips? It's this, the lip gloss in Kristen by Anastasia. I want to get more of these. I'm thinking I'm going to just cave in and buy a bunch because I just love how pigmented they are. I've already mentioned before in my favorites videos how much I love the formula. And then the other one, which is the liquid lip, I got in the shade Crush, which is a really nice neutral with a little bit of pink to it. Ma'am? It's like a very nice soft pink. I think this will go really nicely with my complexion, being that I have a lot of yellow undertone. I don't like to wear a lot of pink shades on my lips. I just feel like I look kind of clownish. I don't know. But this shade is a little bit more of a muted out pink, which works for me. So that's everything I got from Sephora. I haven't really been buying a bunch of makeup just because I've been enjoying the makeup that I have here, which is always nice. So next I have some shoes. You guys are going to love these because they're from Target. Mm -hmm. They're super affordable, but they look... They look Steve Madden quality, and I already mentioned this in a daily vlog when I showed you guys these when I bought them, but 
They are perfect for the fall time. They have that chunky heel to them. This is the first pair. These are like a nice faux suede lace up booty. Chunky heel, super comfortable, you guys. Maybe these were like $30 to $40. I can't exactly remember. But Target has been stepping up their shoe game. Oh, wait, here's the tag. $44.99. Not too bad, you guys. So I'm definitely loving Target's fall collection when it comes to their shoes. Highly recommend stopping by and checking them out. These were the second pair that I got. Again, a nice little chunky heel. This reminds me of like a 70s shoe, but a little bit more chic. I've wanted a pair of shoes like this for some time. I didn't want to spend $100 on the Steve Madden ones, so I opted for these because they're super comfortable, and I got these for like an everyday shoe to dress up a casual outfit, like distressed black jeans with a band t-shirt, a leather jacket, and then these shoes. That was my vision, and I can't wait to rock these. And these were only... But I think they were like, again, 44 something around that range. <laughs> Moving on to Topshop. Yes, you guys. Okay, so I went to Topshop and of course I like to go into the top man section. Don't sleep on the guys section at Topshop. Sure, you might get some stares like, why are you in this department? It doesn't matter, you guys. I love their hoodies and oversized t-shirts. That's where I like to get mine. And I feel like because it's getting so much colder, I honestly, you guys will see a bunch of like hoodie type of things in this haul. I needed to get some sweatshirts. I don't own many. I am wearing a onesie right now for those of you that might be curious to my outfit. I'm keeping it casual. I live in this. It's a one piece onesie. I'll leave a link below. I think I want to order some more. <gasps> Let me know what you guys are planning to pick up for Cyber Monday. I need some ideas because I definitely will be having a haul coming very soon. But back to Topshop. So this is a really nice maroon shade. I thought this was perfect for autumn time. This is from the Top Man section. I got mine in a size large. And you know what's funny? I used to be all about like Victoria's Secret and their like hoodies and stuff. They're really expensive and these are like the same price but I feel like these are much better quality and they just look chicer instead of having like all of those like numbers and sparkles and pink and all that stuff. I like to keep my wardrobe very basic and simple so for me this was absolutely perfect. The guy section is actually cheaper than the women's hoodies just an FYI. So the next one I got is $55 and I love the muted out tone of this it definitely was giving me Kanye vibes with the distressing and that's exactly why I bought it again super oversized with this extremely comfortable great for layering and you could easily dress this up with um, like these heels hello I like to mix and match my wardrobe guys get the best bang for your buck. But I'm loving their hoodies. I definitely want to pick up some more. And moving on to Zara next. I love Zara. I recently have fallen in love with Zara. I always thought that Zara was more expensive than it actually is. It's, to me, like a better version of like a Forever 21 because they have extremely trendy stuff. But you would be surprised when you look at the price tags. And I would say that they have pretty great quality because I've washed a bunch of stuff from Zara before and it still looks like new so I took you guys into Zara with me in my last vlog and you guys were in the dressing room as I was trying this stuff on and I got to get your feedback which was super cool so this first thing was only $25 I got mine in a size large because I like to feel comfortable and I like my things to be loose don't laugh at me but recently I've been really going for like Kanye West meets Justin Bieber vibe I don't know what it is I think it's just super effortless casual comfortable but it still looks really good especially for females I feel like guys sometimes have like the best wardrobe and it's just not fair it's not fair and their stuff is so much more affordable again with the jeans that I bought from Zara oh my gosh it looks so cute so I had to snatch that and I don't know I think my style recently has been more simple and again like more on like the tomboy side where I like to wear sweatshirts and hoodies and loose clothes and just adding like a heel to make it a little bit more girly but that's what I'm into right now but my style always changes like most people so the next thing I got was a little bit pricey I got it in a size medium and it was $49.90 I sound really sick it's because I'm getting over a cold but this is what it is. It's just a simple black hoodie from the front, but in the back, it's like a tour style print. 
it kind of reminded me of like the Bieber merch or the Yeezus merch, stuff like that because of the way that it's printed. I don't even know what this says because it's mirrored. Like you have to read it in a mirror to read it the right way. But basically I think it's just a bunch of uh, subway stops in New York City. And then it has some print on the hood as well. Again, extremely loose. I could wear this and sex it up with thigh high boots, which I think I definitely will. It has a nice cut on it where it's not like awkward because there's like a slit in the side. But I could also make it a little bit more casual with black jeans and these boots because these boots will go with everything. You see what I do here? I like to mix and match things that I already have. I will never buy something if I don't have anything to go with it. This was only $15.90 and it's in the beautiful like oatmeal shade. I thought this was really pretty. I need to get more clothing items of this shade and you guys know I'm loving my pom-poms right now. I didn't try this on in the store so I guess I can try it on right now. Oh so cute! I love little pom-poms like this. I need to cut off the tag but it's gonna keep me really toasty when I go home for Christmas because it's already getting cold here in LA. I'm so obsessed with the weather right now. It's like my perfect weather. And the last thing that I got from Zara was a pair of jeans. I absolutely love Zara's denim. They have the best selection of crop style jeans and they look like amazing. I'm really into the torn up ankle look. So that's what I went in there looking for. And these are like a washed out black distressed jean. And this is the style mid-rise cropped Zara basic denim. So just go look for that. And I love a good distressed jean. I think it just looks super street style and I'm into it. Oh, I should take this off because the tag looks ridiculous. And last but not least, I ran over to the Ugg store at the Grove because you know it's that time of the year to bust out your Uggs. And I already have this shoe except they revamped the design of the classics. They are now like waterproof and they have a different sole on them. So this is just the Ugg box. I went to the actual Ugg store. I didn't go to like a Nordstrom, so my eyes were just all over the place. There's so many different boots out. I haven't even seen Ugg boots in a while, but they have so many amazing styles. I definitely want to go and get some more. So if you have an Ugg store, I definitely recommend going into it. But these are the short classic chestnuts. I love me some Ugg boots. Anyone else love getting a new Ugg boot because you get to make your own impression into the fur? Like that's the best part is breaking them in. I'm so excited. I'm a basic girl at heart. That is it you guys. That wraps up my haul for today. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys happen to be new and click that bell down there next to the subscribe button so you get a notification when I upload new videos. And I will definitely be back with tons of hauls now that Black Friday is approaching. We have Cyber Monday and then we have Christmas. So there's gonna be lots of shopping done. I already know, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to thumbs up and leave me a comment down below with your new purchases on what you hope to buy for Cyber Monday. And if you're even going shopping on Black Friday, let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.